morning everyone this is going to be part two of my artificial insemination uh, video on at fescue farms angus and before i start just let me say you know the way i do things may not necessarily be the way that you would see many other internet versions or from abs or genetic horizons it just happens to be the way i do things i uh, just want to put it in video format so that you would know if you remember the first episode uh, i showed you the ai equipment that i use Today, uh, what I'm going to show you is how I prepare the semen, and then the last video, I'll show you the actual steps that I go to get that cow bred once I've got that semen loaded up in the gun and ready to go. So, uh, as before, one of the things I've said that you can warm the semen up with uh, devices. It costs about $140 to plug in to 110 or battery operated. Uh, I'm going to use my thermos. What I've done is I've brought from the house, which I always do, is a thermos of hot water. So my steps from this point is I, I've done this enough and I'm going to get pretty close. Uh, I'm going to put my hot water in my thermos. And again, I've done that uh, enough that I usually get pretty close on how much hot water to put in it. Next thing, I always carry just a regular water bottle uh, that's just got room temperature, tap water. So I'm going to mix that in the thermos. And again, my lid has a thermometer on it. So I'm going to put that on there. And I always kind of mix up the water. And I'm shooting for that 94 to 98 degrees. Uh, and in this case, I'm going to be uh, luckily just right on 95 degrees so uh, that was probably luck on this particular episode so now that I've done that and I will back up and say that before I ever start these steps I'm gonna have a cow standing in the chute ready to be bred I wouldn't go through all these steps unless I've got something up so the next step I would decide which bull I'm going to use and I'm gonna get my AI tank uh, to get the straw semen out. So I'll go through that real quick and I'm going to take the, the particular bowl out of the semen tank and I'm going to drop it into the thaw water. One of the things that I've uh, picked up over time is, is a little clothespin that you can actually clip on this canister rod hold that semen up so you can look in there and grab that so as I get in here I found the semen I want reach in here again grab it with my fingers and I'm gonna pull that out and drop that down again it's key to always keep this below the frost line so you're not thawing out any semen in there really gonna return that and put this back in the tank and close up my tank the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get one sheet of paper towel to dry off that straw semen. I'm also going to get several sheets of paper towel. I'm going to stick that in my pocket and that's what I'm going to clean the back side of that cow off. My sheaths are in these containers. So I would open this up and I would open it up and get a sheath ready. Uh, to come out of the, uh, the sheath holder. Next thing I'm going to do is take my insemination rod and one of the things about this, you know, you want that temperature to be as close to the 94 to 98 as well. Outside today here in, in Indiana it's about 59 degrees or a little colder so this has been in the barn so this is going to be way too cold so simply by friction rubbing that underneath my arm or uh, down around my knees with my blue jeans uh, I can warm that up uh, is there science to tell him what the temperature is? Uh, one of the things that I've always been told is if you hold that up against your cheek and it feels warm, it's probably the right temperature. So in that case, it's warm. So I've held it up there. I'm going to keep this under my arm, ready to go. The other thing that I'm going to get ready is I'm going to have a glove ready to read the count. I'm actually going to put that in my other pocket. So now that my semen is hopefully thawed out at this time, I'm going to take my single sheet of paper towel 
And again, uh, I try and keep this out of the sunlight. It's going to be a little different situation today. I'm going to dry this straw semen off completely. You know, with our water nowadays, with chlorine and all the chemicals in it, we want to make sure we keep that clean. Double checking that it's the right semen. I'm going to use my straw cutter. I'm going to cut that off as quickly as I can. Put this in my sheath, and again, different guys have different methods of putting those in. I just go ahead and put it into the blue. I'm going to place this in my gun. And in my case, I wrap this back up in a paper towel. You can put it under your arm, uh, down in your shirt. I usually just go right inside my belt line, and I've got that ready. So hopefully that semen's going to stay warm. In my case, uh, of course, you would roll up your sleeve. Uh, typically, before I walk to the chute, I go ahead and, uh, again, I would have no jewelry on, and this would be rolled up. I'll put my glove on. And I will use my lube uh, to lube up good as I walk to the chute and that way I don't have to carry all those items with me. So those are the steps that I do to get that semen ready to breed that cow. Again, I'm not telling you uh, it's 100% right. Uh, it's a method that we've used here uh, with quite a bit of success. Uh, I have thawed semen out under my arm before at an Astro Junior Angus show in Iowa because I didn't have the right equipment. Uh, and, and the animal stuck. So uh, some people call that the pocket thaw method. Uh, so there's many different ways to do this, but I have the semen ready to go to the chute to breed the cow. Thank you for watching episode two.